Notre Dame has picked up a new commitment in the 2025 class. A top target for the Finding Irish is in the boat. He announced his decision on Sunday, April 28th. We're going to talk about this news in today's YouTube video. Before we dive into it, folks, please hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content, and you're going to want to go to bloomandgold.com for more on this news because we're talking about Dallas Golden committing to the Fighting Irish, uh, six foot, 182 pound, uh, four star prospect listed as a safety. We'll talk more about that in just a second. Uh, nation's number 100. Uh, four overall player in the country, number 12, safety per the on three industry ranking 15 uh, prospect in the state of Florida. Um, top 175 prospect across the board, according to all sites. You see 24 7 has some in their top 100 overall rankings. Uh, pick Notre Dame over the likes of, um, I mean, he had Alabama, Clemson, AM, Miami, uh, USC, LSU, a handful of schools were after him and a big time talent. So this first play, you see him playing like a cover two safety role, um, goes over on that corner route, makes the pick. He plays a lot of safety. So, you know, especially early in his career, he's ranked there going to play corner at Notre Dame. That's at least the expectation there. But I remember Mike Goolsby, former Notre Dame captain and our resident football analyst here at Blue and Gold. I remember him texting me a few months ago saying, are we really recruiting Dallas Golden at corner? Because he looks outstanding as an offensive player. Uh, and uh, you you better believe that Mike Denbrock and those guys probably would like to have Golden on offense because um, he is an outstanding prospect. Um, highly productive at the high school level as well. State champion um, in the state of Florida. Um, and uh, read his stats for you guys from his junior season. Uh, really sensational in all facets of the game. Uh, ran 205 times for 1,467 yards with 19 touchdowns, added 32 receptions for 394 yards and five more scores, even through a touchdown for good measure. Defensively, uh, nine tackles. Uh, at least that's when Max Preps had nine tackles, uh, five interceptions, four pass breaks, pass breakups and a block field goal also handled return duties averaging 25.1 yards per kick 3.7 yards per punt return a kick uh, kick return i should say on the 25 point yard uh 25.1 yards uh kickoff return long he had 64 yards and a punt return long of 33 again florida uh, state championship uh victory uh, knocking off Miami Norland at the end of last year, 28-20. He posted 183 rushing yards and a touchdown in that game, plus um, a 20, uh, excuse me, on 23 carries and a reception, a couple receptions for 38 yards and a score. SB Live named Golden their 2023 Florida Class 2M Player of the Year. Now discussing the recruiting victory here, Notre Dame offered Golden back in August 2022. So he is someone that the staff has been recruiting for nearly two years. Um, to put that in perspective, when he was offered by the Irish, Keon Keeley was still committed to Notre Dame. Um, and I remember talking to sources about this young man right away, and there was a really strong connection that was built. Uh, my Fighting Irish sources believed that he would be someone that had a good chance to end up um, at Notre Dame. How about Golden playing a little Wildcat quarterback there? Absolutely love this. Really fantastic athlete um, overall. But yeah, back to the recruiting win. Offered very early. Um, Troy and Trey Reeder, um, who you know play no athletics at Notre Dame, um, they were instrumental in this recruiting process. Again, both of those guys at Notre Dame went to Berkeley Prep with Golden um, and uh, very important, Mike Mickens, uh, Chad Bowden, Marcus Freeman, Al Golden, no relation. Very important in the process um, for, for him to end up picking the Fighting Irish. So he visited for the Blue Gold game a year ago, got back for the USC game in 2023, and then visited for Junior Day. He has not been on campus in four months, or excuse me, three months. Since then, he's been to Georgia. He's been to Clemson, I believe. Yeah, the Clemson at the end of January. Uh, Florida State, I believe, was his most recent visit. Um, also went to Miami in the spring. But he came to the conclusion of picking Notre Dame without needing to take those official visits. Um, so 
uh, just a lasting impact. I asked him about that. Why come to this, you know, kind of gut feeling he told me that he had. And you can find the story at blueandgold.com about his decision um, to pick the Fighting Irish. And he told me he just had that gut feeling and he didn't need another visit to Notre Dame to kind of come to that gut feeling. He just said that that January visit just stuck out so much to him. I got to see him last spring um, just in kind of a workout setting at his high school. And this is him working out. Um, you know, as a running back and really excited to see how he follows up his fantastic junior season um, as a senior, pretty big expectations for him coming off of that dominating state championship performance and really a fantastic year overall. So he is now Notre Dame's uh, 20th commitment of the 2025 class in the fourth uh, defensive back uh, to pick the Irish in this cycle. He joins Creed Thomas from Phoenix Brophy Prep, Ethan Long, who's out there uh, in Connecticut, Brunswick School, um, and you have Ivan Taylor, who is uh, at Winter Garden, Florida, West Orange High School. Um, uh, Taylor is currently um, the highest-ranked commit for Notre Dame's 2025 class as the number 53 overall prospect and number six safety. Uh, there you have Long, who I believe will end up as a four-star prospect per the industry ranking, uh, and Cree Thomas is currently. So Golden is, I believe, the third highest-ranked commit of Notre Dame's uh, 2025 class, according to that on-three industry ranking. So one more thing I wanted to add on Golden. When you talk to Notre Dame sources about him, this has been someone who is a top, top, top of the board target. Now, I don't think Notre Dame sits around and – ranks who their biggest guys are regardless of position. But when it comes to that cornerback board, it's been Dallas golden for nearly two years as someone the staff has just needed to have in this class. Clemson. He absolutely love. I think that the tigers probably finished number two here, Florida state, uh, much closer to home, huge contender, Georgia visited there in March, had a really good time, but that, when I talked to him, he just kept talking about the relationships at Notre Dame that he had with Mickens, Bowden, Freeman, Golden, uh, and the list goes on. So that's the news, folks. Dallas Golden, Tampa, Berkeley Prep, uh, big time get here for the Fighting Irish. Six foot, 182 pounds, going to play corner at Notre Dame, but really, um, at least he's going to come in as a corner, but someone who can do it all, a very impressive athlete. Please hit the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content. On Wednesday night, we'll hear from Tim Hyde. He's fired up. He couldn't do this video with me today. He's fired up to talk about this on Wednesday night during our live show at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So please plan on joining us then. Appreciate you all for watching. And as always, we will catch you next time.